What's up guys and welcome back to Software Nodded Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone. Now this is me testing the game with stock settings with my 9700K with my RTX 2060 OC and my 16 gigs of RAM. Now this is me testing out Warzone for you guys so you guys can see what settings I'm using to get better frames out of this game for Season 5. Now yes ladies and gentlemen as you can see with this setting that I have right now the game doesn't look absolutely great but i'm doing really good fps so i go ahead and put this on performance instead of ultra performance the game starts looking a little bit better but it still isn't the way i want it to be so then i go to quality again and i take it all the way down to balance all the way up to balance and my game looks absolutely fine and i'm doing really good fps and my game feels great as well when i put it on balance with nvidia vrfs now ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of things that you can do with the game settings itself to make your gameplay experience feel better while playing this game because i mean a lot of people are playing rebirth island a lot of people are playing plunder a lot of people are playing battle royale whatever the case might be and it depends on what you play what frames you are going to be doing now it also depends on what graphics card you have what ram you have and what cpu you are currently pairing up with your gpu so depending on what cpu you have depending on what gpu you have and you pair them up together that is what is going to be your results now i do feel really sad for this guy that i saw up here but unfortunately that's just life um anyways let's jump straight into this video ladies and gentlemen all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm in call of duty warzone right now and obviously if you go to options and you go to quality and you start putting things lower or on normal the more fps you are going to be doing in this game that's just obviously a thing. Obviously, the more you put this higher, the more VRAM it eats, and you are going to start losing FPS. And, um, yeah, your game might look good, but you're going to be losing FPS by a lot. And people chase FPS in Call of Duty Warzone in general. People chase that very high FPS while playing the game so they can have high FPS so they don't get input latency or jump through a window and their frames drop and stuff like that. So basically the video I just showed you or what you just watched was because I put my game on balanced where the game still looks good and you still do a lot of FPS but you need to make sure that you put this on 1.00 if you have NVIDIA DLSS. Now if you want your game to look good and you do not have NVIDIA DLSS and you maybe have an AMD graphics card or just a in general older generation graphics card then go ahead and put this on disable and then put this on Filmic FM AA T2 times this on disable depth of field world motion blur and weapon motion blur all three of these things on disabled you're going to put this at low you do not need this if you want to play the game for i don't know for a challenge and you want to kill as many people as you can disable this disable this disable this disable this disable this disable this keep it disabled the more you disable things that you do not need in the game the more fps you're going to have in the game and no your game's not going to look like horse shit it won't look like trash trust me it won't you can maybe enable this if you want to go ahead and do so it doesn't eat that much vram so just go ahead and enable these two things a lot of people have a big debate over these two options over here just in general it's been all over every social media platform where people talk about why do you have this enabled or why do you have this disabled it's just a thing it depends on your machine that you're currently running so if you have this enabled and you do the exact same fps or more or less go ahead and change into what you prefer with these two settings all right now these you do not need you do not need this this especially this this isn't a single player game so you don't need direct six ray tracing all right obviously you're watching this video to get more fps out of your game so if you want to get more fps out of your game go ahead and follow these settings that i have right here all right if you put this off or you do not have this keep this on filmic smaa t2 times and put this all the way down you can try it with all the way up it's depending on your graphics card and your machine you can put this one more down put it on smaa t2 times just that and try it out and see how your game looks check the frames that you're doing i did a couple of tests with call of duty warzone with rebirth island and everything else battle royale plunder whatever the case might be the frames stay the same all right obviously with rebirth the map is a little bit smaller so it does compress it doesn't need to render so much things so it does compress it a bit so you do get a little bit more fps and i know a lot of people are playing rebirth island like a lot 
like 90% of people that play Warzone play Rebirth Island. So if you are playing Rebirth Island and you want really good FPS and you want a stable gameplay experience, I highly suggest you go ahead and put this on this if you do not have NVIDIA DLSS. Put this on this. You can put it lower, but then the more lower you put it, the more jagged edges you're going to have in your game and the game's not going to look really great. So I highly recommend putting it on this or on this. If you do have NVIDIA DLSS, put it on Ultra Performance. Go ahead and test that out. The game looks like trash, um, but you will do a lot of FPS. You will start increasing FPS by 30, 40 FPS, but your game's not going to look great. So you can try performance. Your game's going to start looking a little bit better, but you're going to drop like 10 to maybe 15 FPS, but you'll still do over the 100 mark if you have a good enough computer with a newer generation graphics card, like an RTX from the 20 series upwards, all right? I play on balanced and my game looks absolutely decent and I still do about 100 and maybe 140, 150, 160 FPS while playing Rebirth Island and I'm re like in a scenario where I'm running around fighting people, whatever the case might be. I keep this on balance and the game looks really, really good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to display over here, I'm just going to apply these settings. If you go to display over here, keep this at full screen. Do not change it. Please do not change it. Keep it at full screen. Display monitors, obviously your native monitor that you're currently running. This is obviously the graphics card that you're running. I'm running an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 OC, and she's been overclocked by a little bit, so I get a little bit more frames out of my card. It wasn't enabled in the video that I recorded. It was just at stock settings i didn't open up my msi afterburn overclock it so i would have done like maybe 170 to 180 fps while playing rebirth island um that was just a test so it's to test basically to play the game without doing an overclock because i know a lot of people don't trust overclocking their graphics cards you know they don't want to fiddle around with it they're scared they're going to break it or whatever the case might be so that was stock standard settings that i was using with my graphics card that's basically just my gpu cpu and ram being at stock settings as is playing my game and that's the frames i was doing obviously this is a refresh rate of your monitor the higher you put this if you have a 120 hertz monitor or a 240 hertz monitor right and you want to play at i don't know 1440p you are going to lose frames just that's just a thing the higher you put your resolution and the more refresh rate you have out of your monitor the lower frames you are going to do now i know a lot of other games you might be doing 100 i don't know 120 to 240 hertz monitors and you use that and you play at 1440p and the game's fine you're doing like i don't know 180 190 200 200 and 40 fps whatever the case might be unfortunately this is warzone the game isn't optimized they didn't make the game um the way it should be i mean it's still you can still say that this game is still in development because every time they release an update our frames go just down to the ground like i said before in some of my call of duty videos it's like call of duty takes I don't know, like a few step forwards, I don't know, like maybe two step forward in their game, and then they take like 10 steps back into a pile of dog shit, because when they release their update, they realize that, you know, oops, okay, people's machines can't handle this, unfortunately that's just the case, so then you need to go and jump through hoops or tweak your game's settings, alright, so for a lot of people out there, a lot, like, I don't know, maybe like, 60 70 percent of people play at 1080p at like 60 hertz or 120 or 240 now i do have a 4k monitor i can go ahead and put this at 4k but it's not going to work for me it's, it's i'm going to be losing fps the, the, like i said before the higher you put your refresh rate and the higher you put your display resolution the less frames you're going to be doing even if you have a 3080 ti or 3090 or whatever the case might be even if you have the best of graphics cards you will do good fps yes but you're still going to lose fps than in other games that you are busy playing right now that's just a thing welcome to call of duty wars oh, ladies and gentlemen welcome to it welcome to the most one of the most fucked up as game that they don't want to fix but we love playing the game all right so we jump through hoops to get you know really good frames while playing the game all right dynamic resolution go ahead and turn this off put this at 10 this at automatic put this at automatic put this at disable if you are getting screen tearing this is all this has to do now i've had a lot of people comment on my youtube videos for instance asking me um should i enable this or should i not enable this the reason why this is here is because of screen tearing it physically shows you a picture 
it, it's literally on the right hand side and it tells you what it does all right it limits your frame rate to match your monitor's refresh rate right that's if you're getting screen tearing if you are playing your game and your screen starts tearing in half and stuff like that or i don't know it's just stuff is cut or you your your game looks weird because it's busy screen tearing then go ahead and enable it if you're not getting it disable it and it will uncap your frames in your game all right custom frame rate limit unlimited and then go over here and make sure it looks like this then it will uncap your fps as well all right brightness put it at 60 or your own personal preference depending on the monitor that you're currently running or your display this at 2.2 this at disable and this on disable and go ahead and apply these settings now once you're done with that ladies and gentlemen what you're going to need to do is this you need to scroll all the way down and you need to come here and say restart shader installation and then all of a sudden when it's done your settings will be tuned the way you said it just now and then your settings will be saved now every time you open up call of duty warzone and it brings up this white box on your desktop and it asks you would you like to run your game in safe mode please go ahead and say no to that because everything you just changed now and you say yes it will take your stuff back to the default settings of this game and then you maybe forgot about what settings you should be putting it on and you're going to be wondering why am i doing so low fps why am i doing like 30 40 60 i don't know whatever the case might be say no if it asks you to run in safe mode ladies and gentlemen this was my little test for the new season 5 and call of duty warzone if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to me to channel for new year and leave a comment down below what setting was the best for you especially this one over here if you have nvidia dlss which one was the best for you and what graphics card are you running what are you running what is what is your what is your specs that you're running i'm running a 9700k I'm running 16 gigs of RAM and I'm running a RTX 2060 OC graphics card. That's my current setup that I'm running right now. It has a solid state drive and a, this is how I play my game. Now, this test, the video that you saw in the beginning of the video was everything stock standard. My CPU was underclocked or basically just back to its stock settings. My RAM was at its stock settings and my GPU was at its stock settings. Now, I do overclock my CPU. It has a water cooling block on it. I do overclock my ram as well with xmp and i also do overclock my graphics card to be able to get a little bit more frames out of my game i do get more like 40 to maybe 50 fps more but it does drop at some places when you're running around a corner or you look at the sky then you have more fps if you look at the ground you have a little bit less if you look at a wall you have a little bit more that's just how it's going to go because your machine is trying to render things in Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this helped you, and leave a like if this worked for you, leave a comment, subscribe to me to the channel of your new year, leave a comment down below what worked for you, if you went to go and put all these things off over here like this, and you followed my guidelines, and you're playing your game right now, and your game looks really, really good, and you're doing really, really good FPS in your game, then leave a comment down below that what settings you're using, what machine you're using, so we can help the Warzone community, Activision and themselves, they don't care about the community, they just care about making money out of you, for instance, you buying the Battle Pass, or buying skins, or whatever the case might be, and then they keep bringing updates out for new skins and stuff like that, new guns, all that stuff, but they don't fix their fucking game, because we are having problems with FPS, there's people out there that's leaving comments that have 3080s, I've seen a lot of them, where people are saying, look, I have a 3080 and I'm doing like 10 to like 38 fps in the lobby i mean you shouldn't be doing that i mean the graphics card that i have it's an rtx 2060 and with the settings i'm using right now just normal i'm doing 100 and let's say max 125 in the lobby you shouldn't be doing under 100 with a 3080 so just go ahead and follow my guidelines ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like smash your like leave a comment subscribe to your youtube channel of your new year and as always peace